Hey, I uh, wanted to just talk about something I've been working on for a particular project that I can't talk a whole lot about, but I can share a little bit about it. And, uh, well, basically it's trying to do the Victron setup in a little different way. So you may see something familiar here, which is a Lynx distributor, but I've been fooling you, or maybe you saw the thumbnail. Uh, we're not using this. <clears throat> we are using uh, DIN rail breakers and uh, terminal blocks. Now this is for a, uh, this is a 12 volt system uh, with a 2000 multi plus using a uh, 125 amp breaker here. But basically uh, what a system like this does is the same functionality of this, but with breakers, no fuses, just breakers. And uh, I want to go over it a little bit and see if it interests anybody. Um, or just an idea. You don't always have to go with this. While it looks cool and all that, sometimes I question the true functionality of it. Um, but we still do a lot of them and we probably will continue to, but just this is something else to think about. So you got your, uh, DC main in here. And in this case, this protects the main as well as the inverter. And this is undersized, um, for the potential load. So if this were to go flat out, it would probably pop this, but the based on the wiring we're using, we're safe. Um, and then we got these terminal blocks here. This basically acts as like miniature bus bars. And the nice thing about all this is you don't have to use many lugs. I think we've only got three or four lugs in this entire setup right now. One, two, three, that's it. Uh, here, I'll take some of these covers off. You can see what's going on underneath. Obviously we're not done completely. We've got to hook up the uh, servo and all of its stuff. But uh, yeah, we got to uh, get your 125 main and you can double these up to get 225 out of this. Um, got a 60 amp DC breaker for this guy, a uh, 32 amp breaker for the solar. And then, oh no, this isn't solar. This is for DC main. And then this is gonna be solar. And the way these uh, industrial panels kind of work is the way it's supposed to work is incoming power comes in from the top, outputs out the bottom. So in this case, we're kind of doing a weird thing where because this is going to be an output, um, it's coming out of here and then in there. Uh, while the, the main input connection likely will be coming here, it would seem to make sense to go like this, but we're trying to follow convention here with this. And uh, we are learning a little bit more about this. I wouldn't say this is perfect necessarily, but we're trying to be pragmatic about it. Um, so anyway, if, uh, if you're working on smaller scale stuff or higher voltage, like 24, especially 48 volts, you can do something like this. You can do all of your AC and DC mains all on a DIN rail based system. And you can kind of get some great functionality. And in the end, it looks pretty darn good too, personally. I think in our system, we may end up doing something like this. So anyway, um, Now, if you think, uh, well, geez, uh, Soda Solar and uh, Sean is just completely lost their mind. What are they doing? Uh, Airstream, actually, we've got an Airstream that we're working on there. Airstream does a very smaller version of this in their own DC panel. So it is not unheard of in the RV industry. But, uh, yeah, use this as inspiration if you got questions or whatever on how to, how no, how, how to maybe do something like this. Uh, you can contact us or... Uh, Explore, try it your own, tag us on YouTube, or or uh, we'd love to see what you're coming up with. So that's all we got. Thanks.